Hey friends, it is Monday, October 16th, and it is 3 p.m. Um, the book fair officially closes in half an hour, but no one's been in here in half an hour, so I'm basically assuming it's probably, we're done. Um, I mean, I'll stay open the next half an hour, but my husband has gone to go get us some Taco Bell. Um, super looking forward to that. I love Taco Bell. I love Mexican food, so there's that. Um, we've done about $1,700 in sales in the last two days. So, um, in order to reach Scholastics, um, $3,500 in sales and you get 50% of the profits, we, um, we're about halfway there. So, fingers crossed we make it because it's really important for budgeting purposes. Um, but yeah, and for all the hard work that seriously goes into this. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on reaching that goal. Um, I've not taken lunch break or anything, so I'm probably going to pull out some knitting while I wait um, for us to be able to officially close because with all the shelves covered, there's not much I can do. Um, so yeah, besides that, I didn't take a lunch break. So it's kind of like lunch break. I don't know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I, oh, about the candle boxes last night. That candy corn definitely had vanilla in it. Um, it was not pleasant. Then I tried to add the black licorice to it and it came out like a root beer kind of smelling situation, but also I could still smell the vanilla. So I'll definitely be opening a new candle wax um, tonight. I have, I'm so far behind on the DK openings, but we'll get it figured out. Um, but yeah, so first day of book fair is pretty good. Like a lot of the kids forgot it was happening. So I heard a lot of, I'm bringing money tomorrow and stuff like that. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with y'all later. Hey Bye. friends, it is just about six o'clock and I am home, been home for like an hour and a half or so. Um, but we let the dogs out. Then, um, we, well, maybe we've only been home for an hour because we did have to go to the rental and put away the trash cans. But, um, then we uh, came home, took the dogs out, and then we went um, and like cuddled with the dogs on the bed and had to will myself to get up. But here I am because 5.30 is way too early to go to bed. You guys, come on. Absolute no more. Hey, come here. Which of you is being the noisy one? Are you the instigator? Mr. Harry Berry. It's Mr. Harry Berry. Named after Harry Potter. But I love you more than I love Harry Potter. <laughs> the character. Anyways, the sweet boy. Um, yeah, so we cuddled with the dogs on the bed. Had to will ourselves to get back up because we are both so tired. But my husband has to review all the stuff for the board meeting. That's on Wednesday. Um... So yeah, so I made myself get up and I was like, go do some knitting or crochet. So here I am to do some knitting and crochet or crochet. I don't know. Um, day number eight of this, I am hoping it is better than, okay, Midnight Blackberry. That sounds promising. I love fruity smells. And I love Blackberry. Are, are you having friends sniffing? He's sniffing the box. Let's see. Can we find the lid? Yes, we can. Okay, this one. Oh. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Because I feel like there's a little citrus in there. Anyway, it's super nice. Um, this one's a purple pumpkin. And, yeah. Um, so it's too early in the day to edit today's vlog because I've barely done anything and I'm hoping to make some good like progress. So, and then I actually, uh, you know, got yesterday's, yesterday's done in a timely manner. So I guess I'm just going to craft, um, 
I can't decide yet if I want to watch something or if I want to listen to a book or what. So we will see, but I am going to start off with getting this started. I really want to finish the current section of the clue. So I'm going to do that and then get the next contrast color started. And then maybe I'll work on doing more of the, um, the DK weight blanket. So, oh, oh yeah, that's what I have to do. Um, the next Quidditch match ends like Wednesday and I haven't done anything yet for it. So I really need to do that. So actually I might start with making a, um, a super ugly, hideous dishcloth. So like a scraptastic dishcloth. So I will update you guys on how that goes um, because I really don't see how it can be anything but hideously ugly. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it as a um, corner to corner or use my usual pattern. So we'll see. I will be back later with an update on that. Bye. I just thought I would come and show you. This is my tiny, this is my container of tiny uh, cotton yarn scraps. So there is no possible way to make a nice, decent looking washcloth because this is just, <laughs> just small gram <laughs> of, of scraps. And I'm literally just going to pull one out and start crocheting with it and then when it is done I will pull out the next one and attach it and that is what we're gonna do um, I thought to magic knot it but nah I think I'm just gonna go with this method so I will be back soon and we will see what marvelous creation I have come up with so back soon <laughs> okay you guys are you prepared for this this is quite possibly the most hideous thing I've ever made but I also love it so this is the scrappy blanket look at all those colors well not blanket sorry washcloth look at all those colors oh my gosh I think if I were to do it again I want to have quite so many blues stacked in this section to make it a little bit more wild like the top half but I actually started running out of scraps. Like, that's all that's left in there. No! The neighbor's dogs just came out. Anyways, so I am going to get this um, submitted for class. I will probably put this in the bathroom and use it as, like, wiping down the walls washcloth situation. Um... Jeez, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautifully colorful. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs now. I think tonight we're going to have the sausages and um, mashed potatoes because it's 8.30. The sausages take uh, like 15 minutes per side in the oven. So, um, and then because we had tacos yesterday, well, and today for lunch, we had Taco Bell. Um, no, stop it. You stop that. Um, Lily's in heat and Gracie is having a power play, so. They're growling at each other. Grace, come here. No, Gracie, you come here. Oh, baby. This is the mama. She thinks she is queen. I love you. Um, so yeah, so sausages just seem like the most different of the options that won't take very long. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and then I hope to knit on the clue shawl a bit or to work on the DK one. I don't know yet, but that is the plan. My husband is almost done with his board report. So he came and asked if we were doing dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. Right, Gracie? Yeah. You're gonna try to steal some. Hi, Beanie. Lily's like, why am I not being held? Come here, Beans. Come on, Lillian. I don't know how she got the nickname Beanie or Beans. 
I think it's like like a jelly bean, lily bean. I think that's how I got there, but I call her beans more than anything these days. Is that right? Yes, it's not so nice of a name as Lily. Or when she's in trouble, Lillian. Lillian Bajillion. Or a. Sometimes she also gets called Billion. Because I think I got that one from Lily Bajilly. Lillian Billion. Billion of Lillian. Therefore, she's Billion. And she, she comes to all of those names, so. I think Lily has the most nicknames of all of our dogs. So, yeah. Okay. So, we are going to go downstairs now, Beanie. <laughs> She's so funny. I love this little girl. <laughs> Sorry. I just love my dogs. <laughs> they make me laugh. So, yeah. I will update you more later. Um, if anyone wants the directions for how I do these cooked sausages just let me know it's super easy way easier than in my opinion way easier than doing it on the stovetop you just put it in the oven 15 minutes per side and you're done so I have to just remind myself of what the temperature is to set it at anyways I'll talk to you guys later hopefully with a craft update oh and this scent is very nice I like that. Probably will circle it. So it's the Blackberry, Midnight Blackberry one. Hi friends, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. It is Tuesday, October something. <laughs> 17 maybe. Um, and it's 11 p.m. at night and I have not had a chance to film anything today. As a matter of fact, I'm about to go to bed. Um, so we had the book fair this morning and we did really good on sales. Uh, we are about $500 away from our goal. Um, and that's to reach the point where you get 50% of the profits, um, back from Scholastic. So I, I'm cautiously optimistic that in the three remaining days we should be able to make it. So, um, yeah, that's really awesome. Then we went to Jamba Juice because we didn't get a chance to have lunch. I got an acai bowl. I don't like blueberries, so I have them sub in extra strawberries in replacement of the blueberries. And it's delicious. Um, then we came home and I took a two to three hour nap. Um, my husband was like, are we going to have dinner? And I was like, Ugh, I guess. So I, w I got up. And... Um, I made noodles with chicken in it. It was really good. Um, I think my husband thought it was too spicy. I guess I added too much black pepper. Um, and then, uh, now it's time to go to bed. So, like, that's the whole day. I got about six rows done on my clue shawl. I'm not going to show it right now because, um, it's hard to even tell that there's progress. When I finish the current part, I will do another update. But yeah, uh, that, oh, not a lot of progress being made on crafts. Um, tomorrow is the board meeting. So my husband is finishing his board report right now. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that is about the extent of anything going along. I've got Rosie Posey on my on my lap here. Um, so yeah, um, I would, I haven't gotten a chance to listen to books or um or listen to books or watch anything or anything like that. So <sighs> I'm just gonna go to bed now. Um. I'm really enjoying the current candle wax, so I will be circling that one. Um, the Midnight Blackberry. I'm going to burn it one more day, and then I'll open a new candle wax probably on Thursday. Um, so, yep, that's that's the update. Right, Rosie Pose? Right, Mommy, it's time for bed. It's very late. I didn't sleep well last night. That's part of the problem. Um, so I went to bed at what would have been a reasonable time. 
like 10 o'clock. And then um, we had been watching the news and then a car drove past and it like backfired, but like multiple backfires. And then it drove around the block and it did more backfires that sounded like gunshots, honestly. It's what was freaking us out. Um, and by us, I mean me and Rosie. It was just me and Rosie laying in bed. And we were going to try to go to sleep early, weren't we, Rosie Post? Um, and, I mean, I won't lie, I was really scary. Like, I was picturing, like, gang activity, drive-by shooting style situations. I actually shielded Rosie's body with my body. <laughs> And then she proceeded to, like, sit on me for, I don't know, an hour. She wouldn't lay down. She was too on, too on, on the edge. Weren't you, Rose? She's my sweat, my sensitive girl. Um, and then I couldn't sleep. I was having some pains. So I thought an Epsom salt bath would help, but that was around 1.30 in the morning. I almost fell asleep in it, but it did help with the pain. But it just was not a good night of sleep. Um, probably three to four hours, so yeah, real tired. Um, so yeah, I am going to try to go to sleep now. It is 11 p.m. That should get me about seven hours of sleep. So I will catch up with you all later. Um, and hopefully actually have some crafting progress since I do tend to craft during the board, board meetings. So I'll probably take my DK blanket for that. Um, but yeah, I'll chat with y'all later. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've just been talking for like five minutes and I hadn't pressed the record button. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. So Hi, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. It is Wednesday, October 18th, about 5 p.m. Jamie wants to come say hello. Say hello, Jamie. Not to me, to the people. This is our biggest boy, Jamie. Yeah, you are. Oh, look at that sweet, dumb face. He is, he's like, I would say like a surfer dude, okay? He loves sports. He's not very bright. <laughs> but he's like the sweet dumb boy who just wants to love. And I love that about Jamie. Yes, I do. I love you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> did you get my nose? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Sometimes he likes to throw in a tiny nip when he thinks he's being neglected. <laughs> As like a reminder. Yes, as a reminder, Jamie. Oh, he's just got the happiest look on his face right now because he's getting a belly rub. Okay, anyways, this was not in the original take. So, it is a, almost 5 o'clock. My husband has a board meeting. He serves on our local school board. Um, and it is at 5.30. It's about five minutes from where we live. So, um... I am planning on taking, get down, no, James, my DK blanket, because I think this is going to be the easiest to work on, um, and I really need to make some work on this massive knot ball, and then open up all of the days I'm behind on, um, and just get to working on this, so that is my plan. I would like to work on this clue one, but I just think that that one excuse me it's harder in public the other thing I'm gonna be taking and that I have started um is this crochet project I came across and they are called worry worms now I'm trying to put a picture up here about what they kind of look like but so it's a super simple pattern it's completely free so I'm going to basically tell you what the pattern is um and what you do is you make them and they kind of serve as like fidgets for those who have some nervous tendencies or things like that. And we have a lot of kids like that at our school. So I contacted our guidance counselor and I was like, I have a ton of yarn and I came across this pattern. If I make some, could you distribute them to some of the students who you think would need them? And she was like, that would be awesome. And I was like, awesome. 
because I have a ton of these granny squares of all different colors. And that was from a period when I was making one granny square in a corresponding color to a book genre that I would read. So I assigned all the genres a different color. And as I would finish a book, I'd crochet a granny square to match that color. The problem is I go through pretty intense phases where all I will read is one particular genre. I could go through a cozy mystery phase and I will read like 20 cozies in a, in a row. And maybe then I'll go through a young adult phase and I'll read a whole series and maybe that's like seven. So it was just really color blocky and I wasn't liking how it was looking and that type of thing. And so I kind of abandoned that project and that idea, but I didn't know what to do with all of these granny squares. And this is the perfect project for that. So I'm working directly from one of the granny squares. Um, I started it today. We had a lockdown drill today and I was like, ah, oh, perfect thing to start. Well, in a lockdown drill with, thank goodness, there's no kids in the library at the time. But, um, so yeah, what you do is you do 30 chains, you crochet 30 chains and in the second from the, um, the second from the hook, you slip stitch and then in each of the chains up till the last one, you do four single crochets. And when you do that, it starts to spiral on itself, forming the body of the wiggle room or the worry worm in this case. Then when you get to the last chain, you do 10 double crochets to form the head. And then you slip stitch into that same chain and then you're done. And you um, weave in the ends. And then you glue on or you put on some googly eyes. So I still have to order googly eyes from Amazon. But aside from that, I've got this going and I am so excited about this project because it uses up this yarn that I have that needs to be used up and I, I hope it will help the kids. I'm thinking of putting some into our, um, no, our book prize bins and just things like that. And so, um, and then I think it's a nice, quick, fast project. We've got mega regs here. So I'm going to be taking that and hope to finish at least one during the, um, during the board meeting. And I'd like to see if I can get possibly two out of each square. We will see though. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about all I have to share right now. After the board meetings, we usually go to round table for dinner. Um, we may do that or we will come home and have taquitos. My husband and I are both so super exhausted. Um, the book fair just really takes it out of you. We have met our $3,500 goal. Um, I think we're at like 4,500. I forgot to check before we left. So we're between four to five, four to 5,000. Um, so I don't think we're going to get as high as we got last time, but that's all right. Um, I will have plenty of budget to work with. So that is always so good. Um, and really help me be able to get books and other things for the library. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say at the moment. I'm going to go refresh my drink and um, change my shoes because I've got really ugly shoes on right now. Um, Skechers that are just like more comfortable than they don't look great with my outfit. But anyways, do that and so that we can leave and get there on time. So I'll talk with y'all later. Bye. Hi friends, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. I've already said that today. <laughs> um, it's 9 p.m. We're back from the board meeting and I have a couple things to talk about. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> the first is, so during the board meeting, I was um, crocheting on my afghan, right? I, I found this uh, fall, hang on, let's turn it. This fall stitch marker, I mean, progress keeper that I didn't even remember having. But so yeah, I put that there to use it. So I finish up the one row and I start working on the second row and I get to the end of the row. And I discover I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> you, you probably won't be able to tell here, but this right here, 
right there. This is a knit five together. What should be here is knit, not knit, sorry, double crochet five in one space. Instead, so it should be a like a plus four increase. Instead, I did a minus four decrease. <laughs> and there's no way, there's no way, simple way to fix this. I have to rip back. So that is two rows of work I need to rip out, unfortunately. So that really sucks, but I got to do it. Um, I discovered that at the end of the board meeting. So yeah, it was a really short board meeting this time though. I, um, did finish one of the worry worms. Let me see if I can find him this bag. This bag has like five or six pockets in it, six pockets plus the main compartment. So, okay. So here it is the little worry worm. I just have to add some googly eyes. It's not laying as perfectly as I would like it to be, but that's okay. I think as I continue to work at it and become better, it will also become better. So I'm very happy with the first attempt. Um, and then once I had discovered that mistake, I started my next one. Um, so there is that. The last thing I wanted to, um, talk about is while I was sitting waiting for the board meeting to start, I noticed I had a few comments that I hadn't read yet, um, on some of my past videos and on, um, one comment and I will put a picture of it because I'm quoting from my mind and so it's probably not word for word. I will obscure the person's identity or whatever. Um, but the person said, basically, you couldn't stop the video and eat and then come back. Hard pass on subbing for me. And I just want to talk about this because one, this is a vlog. Okay. It's me talking to y'all and there are some of you that comment on almost every video I put out and I really appreciate it and sometimes it makes me feel like we're friends and it's like I'm talking to friends and I mean those of you who comment often you know who you are and I just always feel like I'm talking to my friends and so when I eat while I'm filming it is like 95% of the time a complete accident. I will be talking about the pot roast I made and what flavors could possibly need it. And next thing I know, a piece of the meat's in my mouth. It's not done on purpose. It's just, I'm not thinking. Or I think another time I was talking about being hungry and then I ate a bite of something. So maybe that's the one she's commenting on. I didn't intend to eat. Like I didn't sit down and say, I'm going to eat while filming. That was never my intention. I, I might've done that with pretzels. I don't know. I don't know what I did it with, but it was not my intention to gross anyone out by eating on camera or like, I don't know. I don't know really what big crime I've committed or whatever, but it's like, I'm sorry if that's offended you. I am, I'm sorry, but this is a vlog where you are video vlogging your life and things like that happen. Like people aren't perfect. We make mistakes. We don't intend to do anything bad against you or anything like that. And it's like, you're gonna take this one incident and now I'm unworthy, whatever. You know what? Here's what I'll say. Clearly my channel is not for you. Clearly it's not. If I wanted a large channel, I mean, I've been stagnated at the same numbers 
for like three or four years now, if I cared about the number of subscribers that I have, I would do something different, but I don't. I care about the interactions I have with those who are here watching my channel and who do enjoy it. You get me, you get Authentically Kate, okay? I take sips, I take bites, I talk about nonsense. I make plans and can't commit to them and change my mind all the time. And that's just what you get at this channel and I'm sorry about that. But clearly, as the saying goes, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you, okay? You don't have to announce your departure. Just unsubscribe or don't subscribe. Why leave a comment? Like, honestly, why? It's just, it's kind of rude. It's unnecessary. It kind of hurts people's feelings. Like, I don't know. Also, if you have been around for past advents, you will know I eat on this channel quite a bit. I sample Christmas foods and give my thoughts on that. I put the jam advents on bread and then I eat it. I take sips of tea and I tell you what I think. That's just something that happens on this channel. It's just, it is what it is. I've probably eaten candy and told you what I thought about it. I mean, that's part of vlogging, right? So, again, if you were offended or grossed out by my eating something, I'm sorry, unsubscribe, doesn't hurt my feelings, it really doesn't, um, it's just, you don't need to announce it, just go. If you don't like my opinion about some designers, or designs, or politics, or beliefs, or patriotism, or any of those things, just leave. I don't care. I've tiptoed around some of those subjects for years, and why it's just i'm i'm sick of it like i'm sick of it so just just go i don't care i'm sorry that's how i'm gonna end this probably i may rip this back because it is actually it's only 9 10 so maybe i'll edit some videos tonight and get them uploaded but i mean i'm sorry um i think another comment i got was reminding me that I did not do, I did not send a giveaway. I thought I had. I'm sorry that I forgot. I'm sorry I'm human. Um, but here's some tips for if you want a giveaway. Don't message the person who did the giveaway and tell them what you want in your package. I mean, you're winning something for free. You don't really get to tell them what to put in there. That's kind of rude also puts that person off of giving giveaways. I'm, I honestly am probably not going to host another giveaway. For one thing, we're a one car family. I very rarely have access to the car and that's fine because I have a fear of driving. And so I, I don't actually really want a car. Um, but that also means I rarely am able to make it to the post office. Like, honestly, I don't know the last time I've had the car when our local post office is open. So, I apologize to those that I have forgotten to ship your packages. I'm sorry. I've had a chaotic life. And I'm human and I made a mistake. And so I will apologize and I will own up to that. But when your only comments are demands basically it really just doesn't leave a person in the moon to try to rectify their mistake honestly there is one person I know that I do owe her a giveaway package I know that she's moved I will contact her through Instagram because She's never even asked about the giveaway she won and I didn't send. And for that, I will contact her and I'll probably actually just end up issuing a gift card. Um, because like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna make it to the post office. There's not one within walking distance of where I live. It's not particularly in a safe neighborhood, the one that I know of. Um, and 
they have very inconvenient hours, very inconvenient. Um, basically, my whole working hours are their hours. And so, and I don't think they're open on the weekend. So it's very difficult for me to make that happen. And I am sorry. Again, only human. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Anyways, um, so we'll just call this one Kate admits to being a failure at everything today. I failed my blanket. I failed giving away stuff. I failed vlogging in an appropriate way and not eating and all kinds of things. I'm sorry. Like, sorry. Okay, gonna end this now. You don't need to leave any comments being like, okay, you're not that bad. I'm not looking for sympathy. I know I'm, I'm not perfect, so. Um, yeah, this is not like me trying to reach for sympathy or anything like that. Please don't. Those of you who love and support me, you don't need to leave those comments. So, yeah. It's, it is what it is. It's a long day. I've had it up to here with everything. Like, the kids have been... <sighs> Writing a book fair is not easy. The kids are not easy. Um, yeah, so I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to end this. And um, we need to go let the dogs outside to go potty before going to bed ourselves. So talk to y'all later. Bye. Hi friends, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. It's about 11.45 p.m. on Thursday, October something. Um, tomorrow is the last day of the book fair and I cannot wait. Um, we were at school for almost 12, almost 12 hours today. Um, we left near around 7.30 and we got there around 7.30. Um, our sales are at about 6200 so higher than I actually thought we'd make it this book fair, which is awesome. I um, collected a large stock of books, and then our district has a new policy this year, which really is frustrating and sucks. And that's they hired a certified librarian to approve our books. Um, but if another library in our district has the books, you can get them. And we are a small district. Um, there are five elementary schools, one middle school, and basically one high school. There is one other, but it is a like special circumstances type of high school or something like that. I don't really know. Most people go to center high. Anyways. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, luckily, most of the books I wanted to get, one or two of the other elementary schools had. So that was really awesome. So I have, like, seriously a ton of books set aside. Probably near around 100. Um, and that's just because we haven't had any new books in, like, a year. And I have a lot of scholastic dollars to spend. So I'm going to spend them. Um, not all of them. Like a vast majority, I will not. But I'm going to spend some of them. I'm getting some more books for our library. So, um, yeah. Uh, but, so, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. And I am sore all over. I can barely stand. I've basically been on my feet most of the whole day. Um, because there's no really sitting opportunities. So, I'm exhausted. And the one unfortunate thing about tomorrow being the end of the book fair is that we also have to tear it all down tomorrow. And that is going to be a lot of work. So, it's going to be another 12-hour day. And unfortunately, like, there's no compensation or anything. I'm just all on my own time. So, that sucks. But it has to be done. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to sleep because... I can barely function right now and I have to be up in about six hours. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh sorry. Oh we so we left school. 
then we went to Costco because I also forgot tomorrow is a potluck at work and I had signed up for desserts and I was gonna make pumpkin chocolate chip cookies but I just do not have the energy to make cookies um so I bought some like churro donuts or something like that I also bought a pumpkin pie but that was for me because I've been craving pumpkin pie a lot lately and I have to say I think the Walmart pumpkin pie is better than the Costco pumpkin pie but either way it was delicious um so then we had to get gas and by the time we got home it was like 10 p.m so I did um taquitos we took the dogs out we just finished eating and watching a couple episodes of the Goldbergs and now I've got to go to bed so I will catch up with you all tomorrow I'm hoping to be able to get a good portion of sleep tomorrow um but yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye the book fair is done um we officially closed like 30 minutes ago and now we are working on tearing it down um I've already started working on that the um the custodian leaves in less than three hours and I have to be completely packed away by then um, because he sets the alarm. I don't have the alarm code, so I have a lot of work to do. We did $6 short of $8,000 in sales. I'm actually gonna ask my husband if he'll buy something for $6 so we can't cross that mark. Um, but yeah, so we are basically there. I also, um, went through and bought about 200 books. Unfortunately, that doesn't count in our sales, but um, about $2,000 worth of books that will be added to our library. I used our Scholastic dollars. We still had 3,500 left over from our last fair, so we have about 1,500 left over from that, plus whatever we made on this one. So I'll be able to place a nice big um, Scholastic book order sometime in the future. Hopefully they'll send me a coupon. They sent me a coupon last time and I bought our book binding repair machine with that. So I'm hoping for another coupon so I can buy some more books. Um, and yeah, so I am very super impressed. I did not think we would come anywhere near this number. So um, because we crossed the 3,500 mark, we get half of the profits. And so I think the 8,000 includes taxes. So we have from whatever's the not tax number, we'll get half of that. And that's awesome. Plus I did complete the things you need to do to get a bonus 200. So I'm super, super happy. Um, I'm going to take you over to the cart of books that I bought. Um, what our district has a policy. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. I was so tired and I am, exhausted and my feet are aching so bad but our district has a policy that if one of the other schools has the book we don't have to get it approved so I went through and checked all of them and got about 200 books so um yeah I'll show you that now bye so this is our cart of books that I purchased and on this side too um from the book fair using our scholastic dollars so the kids really love this dork diary series so i bought four of the most recent release um they like they really like um graphic novels so i bought quite a few of those um the newest cat kid book I bought a few picture books. Our kids really love these Guinness Book of World Records, so I bought that. Um, I bought Builder Brothers. That's from um, Property Brothers. Actually, no one in the district has that one, so I do have to get it approved, but I bought it because there's no reason it shouldn't be approved. Um, let's see what's over here on this side some of the I Survived graphic novels, um, the bad guys, a bunch of books that kids like these days. So really, really happy with that. Um, in the big purchase, I need to get more nonfiction, like science books and stuff like that. This is mainly fiction. Um, so I do need to beef up that section of our library. 
it's hard when I know these are more of the books that the kids prefer. Um, but yeah, I, I need to do it. So I will. Um, that's all for now. Hi friends. It's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. It is just about 11 PM and yes, this is the same shirt I was wearing at the end of yesterday's vlog or the only video I filmed from yesterday. But, um, I wore it for like an hour yesterday and I've worn it for about two hours today and yeah, so that's just what it is. I got home, my pain is at an all new high. Um, I'm in so much pain. My legs and my feet just, like my calves, it's from my knees down. I'm just in so much pain. I did another 12 hour shift basically and was on my feet the whole time, moving, moving, moving. Had to tear down the whole book fair. Um, anyways, so I think we did 8,000 in sales. However, another report says we did 10,000. So I have no clue at the moment. We either did 8,000 or 10,000. There's no in between. Um, it could be the 1600 I purchased for using our scholastic dollars for the library. I don't know. Um, but I will figure it out this weekend. My husband and I, excuse me, we're supposed to roll all the coins. Well, when I say supposed to, I mean that was our plan to do that tonight roll the coins and bundle the cash and put it in the like money bands because the bank won't accept it if it's not done and we need the banks aren't open on Sunday we need to go to the bank before they close early tomorrow and so we were um, gonna do that tonight but he fell asleep while we were eating dinner and watching the Goldbergs and I need to soak in a bath I am in so much pain. Um, so I'm about to go do that. Have not crafted this basically this whole week. I mean, there was the school board meeting, but other than that, I splurged on another book. Um, because when I was looking at the thing, we were like $50 below where we needed to be. So I mean, below 8,000. And I was like, can't come that close to 8,000 not cross, cross the threshold. So, I splurged on the Harry Potter book. I haven't unwrapped it yet, but it is the next one that's in that cool, like, with the pop-ups and everything. So, I'm super, super, super excited. The other book um, my husband got me. I bought this one, but he bought me the other one. Um... Is a vintage flower sticker by the number book. Um, it's in my backpack. I'll show it tomorrow. But it looks nice and relaxing. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't done any crafts. I can't believe we managed to um, tear down the fair so fast. Um, yeah, so... I've got to go to bed. I've got to go soak. I need to take some pain medication because ow, a wave just overcame me. Ow. Oh, my feet are just, I'm so sorry about complaining so much. My coworkers also must be exhausted about me complaining about my pain level right now. And what's really bad is I actually have a really high pain threshold. So for me to be experiencing this amount of pain is just something else but I'm gonna go light some candles I'll probably put on an ASMR video while I soak and then I'm gonna go to bed um I'm exhausted so I will chat with y'all tomorrow I really hope to be able to do something relaxing tomorrow I am worried my husband is going to want to accomplish things and I am because we really need to work on the repairs we need to do for the rental property. Cause we did 
Oh, sorry, we need to get that back on the market. Um, the, the property management company wanted us to have that done for the beginning of September. No, not the beginning of September, surely, because she only moved out in August. Um, but, um, yeah, we should have had it done by October, <laughs> um, but we didn't. And so, I mean, I mean, we can't do like all the things that just us that need to get done. Like we need to have the interior painted. So that's not something we're going to do. We'll hire someone, but we need to hire somebody to do it. Um, and what else? I mean, there's, there's just a lot. There's a lot. Um, they left all of the, which I guess the painting people will take care of, but they left all of the pictures hanging things in the wall, like all of them. Uh, we have to replace the microwave. There's a microwave above the oven and we have to replace the oven in the dishwasher. Do we have to replace the oven? Maybe it's just the microwave and the dishwasher, but we have to for sure do that. Have to hire an electrician because we, when we went to put in the lights, didn't work so we think she changed the lighting uh from something from fluorescent to led or something like that i don't know but now the light bulbs won't work and um so we're gonna hire an electrician something about the tree needing to be trimmed shorter or i don't know like there's a big tree and so we have to actually hire someone to go climb and door in the ladder thing or I don't know to cut back the tree um I don't there's a whole laundry list of things and I don't even know what all is on there I don't know if we have to get the roof like replace the roof and maybe the AC again I don't know but he might want to try to accomplish some of those things and I am so worn out. I do not have it in me. Not to mention our own house is a mess. Complete mess. And we need to get those puppies advertised and rehomed. I'm so tired. Just, I'm so tired. <laughs> you guys. I get paid barely above minimum wage and I did not get paid for a single one of my, I don't know, 20 plus overtime hours because that is the life of a person who works in the public schools. It just doesn't happen. You do it. You do it because it needs to get done and someone's got to do it. And so you are that someone. The book fair will not run itself those special projects that make the kids smile will not create themselves so you do that but sometimes it's exhausting <laughs> and today is one of those days and so I'm sorry for complaining um I am happy with my Harry Potter book even though you know had to buy it myself <laughs> but I'm happy with it and I could have gotten it like seriously you guys scholastic book fairs are so overpriced it's at Walmart for $12 cheaper. Could have done that. But because we're over the 3500 half of that comes back to the school. And so I was like, well, I could buy another book for the kids if I just buy it here. I don't know. It's ridiculous reasoning. But anyways, it is my reasoning. Um, so, yeah. I'm procrastinating now because... I also need to go change the sheets before going to bed because there was a dog that had diarrhea, I guess, or something like that, and their butt touched the sheets, so now the sheets have to be changed. So I have to go do that, then take my bath, then I can go to bed. I'm just procrastinating because I'm so tired that I'm procrastinating, if that makes any sense. Anyways, oh, onward, onward and upward, as they say. Um, I may make myself an apple cider as well because that sounds so nice and cozy, but we'll see. That's all the way downstairs and the stairs are really difficult right now. 
But I think I'm gonna run out of my water, so I have to go down there anyways. Oh, yummy. Cherry flavored. I like the Starburst cherry flavored sugar-free water packets. I tried the Nerds one. No, just no. I've tried the Walmart brand cherry. Eh. I only really like the Starburst one, but it is harder to find. It's cheaper, but it's harder to find. Um. Anyways, so enough rambling. I need to get this video edited too, so. Not tonight, but anyways. <laughs> I will chat with you all later. Bye. Oh, I just thought of one more thing since I'm rambling. Uh, sometime this week I got the notifications that one of my advent calendars has shipped. The one that's in Canada. It is the um, Anne of Green Gables one, and I'm so super excited. So those advents should start showing up. I hope multiple don't show up on one day. That always makes me feel like I got a lot. <laughs> Even though I know I got a lot, like too much. I think I had multiple show up one day last year. And I was like, ooh, that's a lot of advents. But um, yeah, okay, so just thought I'd update that. And um, actually I might go listen to the audiobook for discovery of witches for a little bit more um my sister who i was like nagging to watch the show because she had like started it but was still in first season when i watched the first two seasons so i was like nagging her to get caught up to where i was and then she just like binge watched season two and three in one single day and now she's ahead of me and so i need to watch those that last season However, she hasn't read the books yet, and I am reading the books, or listening to them, um, and they're just so good, oh, so good, you guys. I think part of what I like about it is there's, like, no love triangle, and I hate love triangles, and, um, I don't really feel like there's, like, big, we're not gonna be together, gotta break up for drama situations, and I hate that. And so it's nice to see like a love that stays love from the beginning without that particular drama. Like you can have drama without having to have it be a, about romance. So I really like that. Um, and I wish more series would do that. And if you know of any good series that do do that, let me know because I do not like love triangles and I do not love I do love like um breakups for no real reason just for drama so anyways going to um stop procrastinating and go uh, I'm also hoping to cross stitch I'm kind of missing cross stitch it's been almost a month since I've stitched um so yeah I'm kind of missing it so maybe I'll do some of that tomorrow anyways enough for Millie now I'm going to go bye Hi friends, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. It is about 9 p.m. on Saturday, October 21st. And um, this is the first kind of chance I've had to uh, sit and chat and catch up with you guys. Um, oops, just, can just fell down. Um, so, let's not have the straw in the film. Okay, so, this morning I got up around 9 a.m. and we spent the next three hours counting all the bills, the money, um, rolling all the coins and we came out with what we thought that we would. Well, no, okay. The bank held up what we counted. We were actually almost two dollars over what the register tills said that we should have, which is a much better situation than being under. Um, we were about 170 ish, um, over. And I think that a few times people told us to keep the change and instead, cause I had a few people helping at various points on the register. And I think that instead of them putting the money into the little donation thing that we had set up next to us, they just like actually left the the money and the register um which is fine that's totally fine um 
what I would sometimes do is with the one that was next to us, why I would put the change there, um, is sometimes people would be like a few cents short, like a quarter short, and I would just take it from there rather than like, I mean, like, I'm sorry, you're eight cents short. <laughs> I'm just, on the very first day of it, someone donated like $4 um, into there and from then on I was able to just maintain a few dollars always constantly in there to be able to do that so that was really awesome um, some students would just put their change in there so um, yeah that's what we spent the first three hours doing and then we ate lunch just like leftovers and then we had to go to the rental property because um, our gardener said that a tree limb had fallen down or something. We have a guy who just basically comes once a week and mows the lawn. Um, so it's not like an intense gardening situation, but he does that, mows the lawn for us, which is very helpful. Um, and we've hired him to take care of the overgrown tree situation at the rental property. So that'll be really good too. Um, because the less that we have to do, the more likely it's going to get done. Uh, so aside from that, oh, oh, and then we went to the bank. Sorry. And then we went to the pet store and then my husband and I came home. We took the dogs outside and then <laughs> we both had to go take a nap and passed out basically right away. Um, I've been playing Tsum Tsum or Tsum the Disney game with the characters that connect. Yeah, I've recently been playing that. Um, by recently, I mean since yesterday. <laughs> and so, yeah, I've been playing that and it's been fun. Anyway, um, so my husband is still sleeping and I would be. But those dogs broke into the bedroom again and they jumped on me and that woke me up and my husband can sleep through that but I cannot so I am here um I went downstairs because well we were gonna go to this hamburger restaurant that's going out of business um the the lease wasn't renewed like the 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 owner of the land declined to renew the lease and this is like a burger place I haven't been to but my husband loves it but it's been around for like I don't know 50 years or something like that so it's like sorry a big deal that it's going out of business um or shutting down they're not relocating they're just shutting down so um, we were gonna go there for dinner but they close at 8 p.m. which 8 p.m. on a Saturday geez Louise but yeah, so I went downstairs and heated up some noodles because, I mean, it's nine now, so clearly we're not going to go eat there. Um, so I'm kind of in a cross-stitch mood. I'm at the point in the month where I can acknowledge I am not going to be able to complete everything for the Harry Potter Knitting and Crochet School. So um, I'm kind of back in a place where I can cross-stitch without feeling like, oh, I need to do the assignments. So I pulled out three contenders. The other thing I wanted to show is the last the last thing that we got at the book fair. My husband got me this. And this is a stickers by numbers vintage flowers. Um and so I think these are the designs in it. Hang on. Oh guys, I'm so sorry I'm yawning so much so um and then on this side there's some more I think there's a few more yeah and I just thought it looked like a nice relaxing fun thing to do so yeah so I got it um so the three cross stitches that I pulled out, two are Halloween and one is autumn. So the first one is 
Frosted Pumpkin Ghoul Squad or Squad Ghouls. And this is what it will look like when complete. And I think they're just so cute. It looks like some nice blocky stitching, which I kind of need because I'm tired. And I've only started on one of them. You stitch them all on the same fabric and then you cut them out and finish them. So I am almost done with the border on one of them. So that is one option. And let me put this to the side. The other thing I'm kind of feeling like is Planet Zoo, a computer game. So I'm not sure which direction it's going to go. Um, I don't have the cover picture for this, but this is Trick or Treat, um, from, also from Frosted Pumpkin, and I am almost halfway done with it. So it goes, like, across the top here. So I might try to finish that half of it. I've been working on this one longer than the other one, so it really should get done. And the final one is Celtic Autumn. Oh, I am doing a color conversion. This is what the original looks like. I am doing one with orange and greens. Because that felt more like autumn to me. I did not make the changes. I am following someone else's changes, but... Um, I, this is actually the first of the Celtic ladies I ever started. Um, so here's where I am at on her. And so there's also some nice stretches of solid stitching I could do on this. I don't want something that's going to be too many changes. I'm just too tired for that. But I do want to stitch a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I think what I'll do first is just switch on the computer and um, while I eat, maybe do a little farming situation. Baby, come here, sweetie. One of them has the can and I don't want them to cut themselves, so I'm going to need to take that from her. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to, so while eating, I might do a little farming game or something, but then maybe I'll stitch, um, I need to decide what to put on or what to do while doing that. Um, but let's see, this is the squad goals one. I put it all on, um, floss drops and all that type of thing. So this one is probably the most like ready for me to go keep going at it. So this might be the one I work on. Maybe I'll work on the trick or treat one tomorrow. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, and, and I still need to edit the videos, but I do not have the mental capacity for that today. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'll catch up with y'all later and hopefully now that things have slowed down and the bear book fair is done, I will be able to do other things. I need to really work on both the clue shawl and the DK weight blanket. Um, but I might not do that tonight. Um, just because I have really been feeling like cross stitching and it's been a while since I've really felt that so gotta go with it while the strike while the iron's hot as that saying goes um so yep talk you to y'all later bye
So I ended up deciding to do instead um, my favorite computer game and this is called Vanished and I have a ridiculous number of hours put onto this game. But so I decided to do a new start and this is called an Adam and Eve start where there's literally one man and one woman and you have to build up a whole village. So I had them build a house and it looks like they've had a baby, a baby named Zachary. Um, so there is, it's Curtis and Lou Verney. They have really weird names in this game. But anyways, so right now they're building a storage barn and a hunting cabin um, because they're going to need the leather from the meat from the deer um, because I'm going to need them to also make more clothes. They've only got four jackets and five tools. Um, so we are going to need to build up all that. And yeah, I just really, I find this game really enjoyable. My sister finds it impossible, but I love it. So yeah, I played about like 30 minutes of Planet Zoo and I just wasn't feeling it. So this is what I ended up with. Hey friends, it's Kate from Cage Crafting Corner. It is 1 p.m. on Sunday, October 22nd. And I am just here to update you on my doings. Um, so I played four different games last night. I played the farm life. Each of them I only played for like 30-ish minutes, except for one. And I'll tell you. Um, so I played farm life for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and that I just harvested my crops. I hadn't been on my own, not shared farm with my sisters in ages, like almost a year, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so I just did a harvest and replanted and bought some new animals and the trees I didn't already have and the fish I didn't already have. I didn't get the flowers I don't already have because I ran out of my money. So I have to do more harvests. Um, but anyways, so it was nice. That was fun. Um, but I just wasn't feeling it. So then I opened up Planet Zoo and I wasn't feeling it. I like built one enclosure. Like I just built the barrier around one enclosure. And then I was like, I don't remember what I was planning on doing on this the last time I opened the zoo. So I'm just backing out and not going to do that now. Then I put on Vanished, which I took a clip of for you guys. And, um, I was doing the Adam and Eve start, which means that you have, you start with one man and one woman. And normally I, I am fine with this start. I must have put it on an extra hard setting or something because, um, let's see. So they had a child, that child did fine. They had two more children, they both died. Then they had another and that child survived. But when that child grew up, did it marry its brother like it normally does so that they can create and keep on populating and we can build up our population? No, no, they refused. And normally they just like move in together and then they start having babies. It's not like you see any of this, okay? It's just there's population increases. Um, absolutely refused. So now I am down to three people in my little village the dad, the daughter, is it the dad and the daughter or the mom and the son? I think it's the mom and the son because the mom and the son are living together and the daughter just refuses. And so I have had to scramble to build a town hall so we can hopefully get some nomads to appear and then we can accept them into our village. So far, no, ma no, ma no nomads have appeared and, um, yeah, we might be in trouble. Like this village might not make it. And I've never had a village not make it before. This is a completely new experience for me. I think I have about 400 hours into this game. So it's not like I'm a casual player of the game. Like if I'm going to play a game, usually it's, <laughs> it's this game. Um, so yeah, I, I quit that game because I was just like getting frustrated at it. Um, and then I played this game called Yes Your Grace um and I had started this one like well 
2021 is when I started it. I last played it a year ago. Um, and I, it's like a story progression type of game. And it takes only about like 8 to 10 hours to do the whole story. So I finished it up last night. I didn't get all the Steam achievements. So I know that I have to make some different decisions to get some different achievements. So I'll go through and play it some other time. But um, it was nice to go through and play it, finish it up uh, last night. So yeah, I did that. Um, I did 40, no, 36 stitches on this but part of the thing was I had to set up a bunch of challenges that I should have set up at the beginning of the month and I didn't so um yeah I think that we're gonna disband our farm my my friend group and I um it's it's a lot of daily stitching to keep it up to date and we're all just so busy right now that we don't think we can keep it going so Um, so yeah, probably gonna quit. We're probably gonna quit that. We still have a Jurassic Park one going, and we still have a Hell's Stitchin' one going. So we still have a couple games. Um, but yeah. So then I went to bed pretty late, but then I woke up around nine, and I um, okay. My dogs are like hoarders. They're like tiny little hoarders and everything is a treasure to them um so they have a ton of toys because we gave them a ton of toys but also anything that goes in their cycle bin they believe is theirs and um yeah like they love toilet paper rolls not while it still has the toilet paper on it but they like the roll so they will steal those every opportunity they get they wait till we use the toilet paper so that's a blessing but um, after that, it's fair game in their opinion. They love plastic water bottles. They love those. Um, what else? They love paper, um, like any kind of paper. They love it. What else do they love that I constantly find? But anyways, so they take these treasures and they tear them up into small little pieces and um, I try to keep them picked up, but it's really hard. And I've been so busy lately. So I've tackled the downstairs, getting all their little tiny treasures um, thrown away. And now I have to do the upstairs. But after that, I'm taking a shower because I'm dirty <laughs> from this. Because I literally crawl over the entire house picking up these debris. Um, and then I also picked up their toys while I was at it. They they had a ton of toys on the stairs because they'll like carry their little babies up and down the stairs with them but then they'll like drop them halfway or something. I don't know but um so I picked those up and now I have to do the upstairs but yeah all that crawling around is dirty so then I'm gonna you know wash my hair, shave my legs, get ready for the week to come and then I told my husband that I am done until I need to do dinner and garbage later. So my plan is to edit this video um, and, or the last week's worth of video, and then to um, do some cross stitching, just like relax. So my sister is packing to go to Singapore for two months and she might need some company so she might video call in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm, going to just finish this last big cleaning haul or project and then I am done because I still I've worked so hard this last week and a half with the big pair stuff my body is tired and tomorrow I still have a ton of stuff I need to do um in the library my first class is at eight o'clock I get to school at seven thirty, so um I still need to finish getting the library to look like a library again um I moved a complete shelving situation into um, an attached room and I need to put those books back because it's the series book, the new releases books, and the graphic novels and those are our most popular section 
and so I need to get those so the kids can uh, check books out from there. So it is going to be another high labor um, day. And then on Tuesday, I've got six classes. And on Wednesday, I've got seven classes. So there's on Thursday, it'll be a little bit more relaxed, hopefully. Um, I guess we will see. But Friday, I have no breaks again. So just gonna hope to get through it all. Um, but yeah, so I'll come back later. I might open another wax melt today. Um, so yeah, once I'm out of the shower, I might do that. So I will chat with y'all later. Bye. Hey friends, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner and I am done with cleaning for today. Um, I picked up all that debris stuff on this top floor. Then I vacuumed the entire top floor in our bedroom twice because these dogs shed hair and there was quite a bit of it. So, um, feels good to have all that cleaned up, but I am exhausted. The vacuum is heavy. Hi Rose. And I, it is time for me to relax. Um, my husband has fallen asleep on the couch, which is fine because he's normally the one who's all like, we need to clean, we need to get stuff done. So him being asleep allows me to relax a little bit. Um, so I am grateful for that. The other thing I'm grateful for is it is raining right now and I love the rain. I love it so much. And it is like, I opened my window a crack. Um, I can't open it too much because unfortunately it is blowing in this direction. So I opened it just a tiny crack and made sure there was nothing too risky that I would care if it got a little bit wet. Um, because when the window is closed, I can't hear it at all. But with it open, it's like that nice ambient um, rain sound. So yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Rosie Posey is here here with me right now. She demanded to be let up, didn't you, Rose? Um, okay, so, um, then I took a shower. I didn't shave. I was too tired for that. So, I will be wearing pants tomorrow for work or a long dress. Um, I only shave like once a week, so if I don't shave at the beginning of the week, it is, it is pretty noticeable at that point. Um, but yeah, that's probably TMI. Anyways, um, I, I think I'm going to cross stitch for a little bit. I know I should edit the video, but it's raining and I kind of want to just stitch for a bit. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I am going to do a new wax melt. I am temporarily skipping day nine. Um, I can smell from day nine's box when I took it out to show you guys that it is a pine smell and I don't mind a pine smell. I just am not in a mood for, for it. I might even take it downstairs and put it in the wax melt down, downstairs and just let that smell be, be there. Um, it's a little strong right now and I do have a bit of a headache and so I just wanted something more relaxing. So let's see what day 10 is. Um, day nine is called Haunted Woods, and that makes sense. Day 10 is called Deadly Harvest. I don't know what that smell is going to be. I'm guessing fruits. Don't you think, Rosie? Fruity smells? <laughs> she is laying, like, completely still, like, just from my belly. Such a silly girl. Mmm, this is nice. Now, this is what I was wanting. Oh. I still need to order the Christmas ones. Um, I think I'm going to do candles. I've been going back and forth between candles and melts, but it's easier. Like if I don't have time to do the whole candle, it's fine. You just, you know, you put the lid back on it and you wait for another day with a melt. If you don't like it's doesn't go back into a nice, easily storable, doable, uh, what, what melt again words 
Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to order the candles, but I need to do it. Um, don't we need to do it, Rosie Boys? Probably do it in the beginning of November. That's when I get paid. So we're a once a month pay district or whatever. Anyways, so enough of that. Going to a stitch for a bit and then I will edit the video. And I think we're having um, chicken tacos for dinner tonight. We got the Costco chicken tacos and they're really delicious, super easy. So I think we'll probably do that for dinner. Um, so I'll chat with y'all later. Bye. Friends, it has just happened and it happened at the perfect moment as our old man just died of old age and Estelle, his, you know, nun-like daughter has replaced him as a gatherer, but the nomads have arrived at the town hall. So what that means, this town hall I built over here, oh, there's only two of them. I hope it's a male and a female, and I hope that they are ready to be our new Adam and Eve. Let's accept them. So now we have, again, four adults. Let's try to Adam and Eve this again. Okay, well, in not very great news, I think that our Eve is 40. So we might have to wait for another round of nomads. I hope she has a baby, but I really need her to have more than one. So lovely turn of events. It's okay. Okay, she did it. She had a child. Now we just need her to have one more. We need it to be a female or we need more nomads to show up. So we are at five citizens. And also, um, you probably can't tell because the screen's a little blurry. We're on year 16. Year 16 and only five citizens. Not great, not a great start. I've never had this bad of a start before. But yeah, so this is Banished. It's my absolute favorite game, um, well, or one of them. It's my go-to. But yeah, so you just build different buildings over here. This is our blacksmith. We don't have enough workers to have them in all the buildings I need them in. So I have to like really kind of micromanage it. Um, but so our tailor right now, we have 11 coats and 35 tools. So we don't need that for now. This is our sawmill so we can have lumber and firewood. This is our fishing, um, our fishing dock. But right now we have like 2,600 food, so I'm not worried about that. Um, these are our two main houses, and we have one tiny house. I tried to demolish it so she would move in with her brother, but it didn't work. Oh no, Zachary the Builder has died, so we're back down to three. With this being an empty house, might actually be the perfect time to upgrade it, but... Um, the size of the house frequently depends on how many, like, how many kids they're able to have. So over here, I've got, what are you? Um, the gatherer's hut, a hunting cabin, and a herbologist, which actually we need, we need a herbologist, so. Um, yeah, that's what's going on in the game. We got more nomads, which again happened just, um around the time Estelle died. So, but this time it's a real Adam and Eve situation. 16 and 17, they should give us plenty of children so we might not die out. We have five, five villagers still, but there is hope. Hey friends, it's just about 10 p.m. so I need to go to bed soon, but I played Banished for a little while and then, sorry, excuse me. Um. I did manage to get to like population 25 when I decided to quit for now. Um, I have a couple of people who are a little bit cold and I noticed my food stores plummeted. So I need to take care of that next time I enter the game. But um, with the rain and everything, I was wanting to crochet or craft. Um, and so I decided to work on the DK blanket. Um, I, I am drinking this holiday flavor, blackberry uh, ginger ale. I really like this one. 
the cranberry is probably my favorite, but this one's also good. Anyways, so I ripped back to where I had made that mistake. So I had to recrochet those two rows and then I did a further four rows, which might not sound like a lot, but that was um, like two and a half colors. So here we go. Here's where it's at now. Let me hold it back further. Um, so I started over here on this where that marker is. So this row with white in it, um, all that yellow, the yellow and red, and now the stripe up top that's got the orange and the green in it. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot and I thought that this ball that I have left, that it was two colors. But when I pulled out the, the name, the colorway list, I realized that this is actually only one color. So I might try to finish this tonight um, just put on an ASMR video and finish it. I've already done the trash and taken it out, so I don't need to do that. I didn't eat. Um, I might get like a bowl of soup or something. Oh, hang on. My husband just came back. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just heated up a bowl of soup, so it's too hot to eat at the moment. So I'll do these unboxings. Um, so I grabbed the next three colors and I'm going to um, wind them again into a big ball and I'll try to finish at least two, if not three, um, tomorrow until I can get caught up. Um, I don't know if I will ever be able to be caught up for this month, but we'll see. So reminding myself that it starts with the big number and not the small number. So 19 is ghostly greetings. Ooh. This is pretty. So that's what that looks like. Focus. I hate that it does not ever want to focus. Okay. So that's ghostly greetings. It, it just seems weird in terms of progression that this would be the next one. Um, on top of that colorway. Although I guess it's pulling from the white in there. Okay. Sometimes you just have to see it together to get the picture a little bit more. Number 18 is the boogeyman. I can hear something in here. Ooh, what a beautiful green. Although this is confusing cause, well, I guess there's a tiny like fleck of green, but we went from having more green to less green to green coming back. I guess there's a few more specks of green. I don't know. I'm sure it will look fine all like crocheted together. But ooh, what is this? Is this just a ring? Like a that is cool. <laughs> just trying it on my all my fat fingers. I think my thumb is where it fits. What about my other thumb? Although I wonder, yeah, it does move, so I could fit it. Ooh. This is on the middle finger. Should I have it more like the head more so you can see that it's biting the tail? I don't know. That's cool. I tightened it too much. <laughs> it's okay. 
Okay, um, continuing on, this is the Boogeyman. Okay, there we go. And then number 17, which I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm going to guess it fades quite well because it's called Damp Moss, which definitely, yes. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful. And there is a, a cable... Um, thing which is great I have some patterns with some cables and this is the beautiful green color um, that goes with that so there we go very nice so I will wind these into a ball and um, be ready to join when I finish this last color so I'm gonna eat my soup now. I also made some apple cider and um, watch watch something for like 30 minutes and then go to bed. So um, tomorrow I will edit the video. Um, I'll talk to y'all later, bye.